Speaking of the Bolts, if anything is like last night's game, bars that are now open for Phase 3 are about to see some major crowds tomorrow night again. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay this weekend. I'm Candace Aviles. Last night, bars and outdoor viewing parties were absolutely packed as people watched the Lightning go to double overtime in Game 5 of the Stanley Cup Finals. So this was the crowd at Sparkman Wharf last night for the game. Just two months ago, something like this would have never happened. But now that we are in Phase 3, things are definitely different. Governor Ron DeSantis has lifted most restrictions on restaurants. Local governments can set their own capacity restrictions, but they do need approval from the state. They can also increase the capacity in bars and nightclubs up from 50 percent. The governor says local mask ordinances can remain in effect, but you can't be fined for not wearing one. Well, the increase in capacity has left doctors worrying that the state may be moving a little too fast here. 10 Tampa Bay's Madison Allworth spoke to an infectious disease doctor about the recent changes and how he would approach going out. The changes to restaurants and bars came right before a huge sports weekend. And many were packed. The beginnings of a return to normalcy. I thought, you know, our numbers are sort of trending down. Things were looking up. After months of taking proper precautions, doctors worry cases could start to climb again. I feel that the reasons for this are one, people wearing masks, and two, social distancing. Now, when you open a bar and a restaurant, you can't wear a mask and eat or drink. Dr. Johnson, it worries that young people who have a smaller risk of dying from the virus could survive it, but never be the same. But to me, the long-term side effects are totally unknown. And I worry that we might be playing with fire. But Governor DeSantis has confidence that restaurants are doing all that they can for customers. They have worked as hard as anybody to create safe environments. Knowing that their safety record will mean a lot. And they take this obligation seriously. They want customers to have confidence. Now given the choice to go out, Dr. Sinnott urges that people keep COVID-19 precautions in mind. Sure, I don't especially like eating outside, especially in the summer, but I do enjoy the concept of staying alive and not having any side effects. So when I do eat out, I always have an outside table over in the corner, away from people. And if you want to grab a drink, he says to stay outside for that too. Myself, I would try to drink outside on the terrace get near the sun and water, some wind, totally safe. Inside, I would not even consider it. Local doctors, not the only ones, are concerned when it comes to bars and COVID-19. Just this month, the CDC did their own study on how the virus spreads in these venues. So let's take a deeper dive into that right now. We've told you about the study before. Researchers found people who were infected with COVID-19 were two times more likely to have eaten at a restaurant, a coffee shop, or a bar. Now, they also compared eating out, getting coffee, or going to a bar to things like shopping and other indoor activities, where it's much easier to wear a mask the entire time. Time, something you can't do when you're eating or drinking. So there is something very important to note, though, about this study. However, 42% of the respondents did confirm that they recently had close contact with a COVID-19 patient, which could affect the results. 